Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I have a very cool shield in front of me. This is called the Movi. And one of my favorite things about it is that it exists. This is uh, one of those things that's created by a company. I've been talking to the people who developed it and uh, it was a lot of work. And I just think this is an amazing piece of hardware. And so what this does, this does voice recognition, this does speech synthesis and all of those kind of things. Um, but this is a standalone offline board. And so your initial thought might be to compare it with something like this from the Goog or something like this from Amazon. But what makes this different is the fact that this requires no online connection. And if you had one, it wouldn't use it unless you forced it to. So, you know, I sort of have a theory that if you push this little mute button on this girl over here, that that tells the NSA to just gather around because you're probably saying something important that you don't want them to hear. Um, now, obviously, I know that's probably not true, but you never know. Could be true. Um, so what's cool about this thing is that it is very, very easy to get started. This thing just pops on top of your normal Arduino board and has both a built-in microphone and a jack for an external microphone. It has a headphone jack slash speaker jack, and you can be up and running in just a few minutes. And so I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the things that you can build with this and give you a few just very basic examples. But something like this would allow you to take your Arduino project and have pretty interactive speech recognition. You can say something, it can respond to your commands, it can be trained to have a different hot word or keyword. Um, you can have it ask you follow-up questions and basically your language and your program and your logic can be about as deep as you want it to be uh, with the Arduino. I mean, if you think about it, Arduino is a little, you know, 16 megahertz uh, device and all of that processing power is offloaded to this thing. I think it's very cool because of the privacy applications. I think it's very cool because it doesn't require an internet connection. You can use it out in the field somewhere. And so I kind of want to know what you would do with it. So let me show you a few brief examples of what it does and how it works. And you will, uh, then you'll have the opportunity to tell us what you would do with it. Okay. So one of the things that makes the Movi great is it software. There's an easy to install library and once you do the library you get these examples and they're pretty wide ranging examples. They go from beginner to proficient but we'll start with beginner just because I think that's where most people should start. So if we go to the light switch sketch you can see that we can come in here and we can change the recognizer word which is uh, let's see so right now it's Arduino so we could do something like yo Arduino and then we're gonna add sentences, and you can see we're adding sentence one, says let there be light. Sentence two is go dark. And then basically what it's gonna do is it's going to keep looking for these sentences. And if it sees sentence one, then it's going to turn the LED on and say, and there was light. And if it's going to turn it off, then we could even come in here and say, speak a sentence, um, you know, into the darkness or something like that. Okay, and so that's all we're going to do. We're going to upload it. I have a Mega here attached to COM27. Okay, so I programmed my Mega over there at the desk, and I just decided to bring it all over here to the bench so you can see what's going on. Uh, I've got the Mega, and I'm going to plug the shield into the Mega. Okay, and then just to allow you to see this a little bit better, I'm going to put, I don't know why this wire is this long, but I'm going to put an LED uh, to pin 13 of the Arduino. Come on. Goodness, that's tight fit. All right, so anyway, I've added a little LED to it, and then I'm gonna plug in the speakers into the headphone jack. There we go, let's make sure everything's good there. Hopefully that connection's good, we'll see. It may not work. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna do is we are going to use a barrel jack connector and a decent power supply. And the reason for that, as I mentioned in passing, this thing has a, an all winter A13 chip. That's a one gigahertz chip. This thing has a lot of processing power to do this stuff. And so uh, we need to give it the power that it needs to really power everything at once. And so we are going to use the barrel jack and hopefully everything is connected right. 
And what should happen is it should notice that I changed the call sign. It should notice that I, I'm telling it to do Yo Arduino now. So we're going to plug it in and it'll go through that process. All right, the LED looks good. Movie booting. All right, it's booting. Movie is ready. The call sign is Yo Arduino. Movie is learning a new call sign. Please do not unplug the power. Okay, so notice I changed the call sign, and I wrote it phonetically to make sure it can understand what I was saying. Trading finished. Unplugging is safe. One moment, please. Movie is ready. The call sign is your Arduino. Okay. Your Arduino. Let there be light. Yo, Arduino. Go dark. Into the darkness. And so you can see there that uh, you're able to interact with the Arduino uh, completely by voice, and you can drive pins and do all the different things that you need to do. So I think that's very cool. I also think the story of how this thing was built is very cool. As we talk in the group, there's a lot of people that want to make projects based on Arduinos or add-ons for Arduinos and stuff. And we have people here that actually did it. And so one of the things that we're gonna do, in addition to telling us how you would like to use this product, we're gonna have the founders of this company in for a, an ask me anything type of post where you can ask about what it took to get something like this from a concept stage to actually getting it to market. And so uh, I think it's a cool product. I think it's a cool company. Um, I'd love to hear how you would use this, what kind of projects you would use this in. And uh, yeah, so that's how it works. And thanks for watching.